Peggy 18. Hello everyone and welcome to this post E3 2015 special presentation of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Back at E3 2015 we showed you an example of how you can jump into free roam and complete side ops and then jump into a mission. We also explained how missions can be completed in a variety of different ways. And today we're going to show you some of those varieties. Back at E3 we showed you how to complete the mission A Hero's Way using one type of approach. We used walker gear back then. Today we'll try something different and show you some variations using a different buddy and other types of equipment in addition to other approaches to the same mission. So without further ado, let's jump to some gameplay. Alright, so here we are in our ACC once again. And we have Quiet as our buddy. Today we'll jump to the same mission, Please A Hero's Way, and show a different approach. Last time we approached from the north. This time we'll try approaching from the east. And show you a different way that we can tackle this mission. Approaching from the north was farther, but it had fewer enemies. Coming in from the east, is closer and more direct, but it's more patrolled and has more obstacles, which will make things a little bit more difficult. Since this will be more difficult than before, we'll enlist Quiet's help and infiltrate as a two man fire team. This time we want to go non lethal, so as our primary weapon, we'll choose a non lethal assault rifle, which fires rubber bullets and will stun enemies rather than kill them. And as our secondary weapon, we'll use a tranquilizer pistol. For Quiet, we'll equip her with a tranquilizer sniper rifle. And since we're dropping into a remote location, we'll also take a vehicle with us. And once again, we could choose a drop time here. Let's just go ahead and choose ASAP. Deploying. So here we are in the airspace above Afghanistan once again, and we're fast forwarding things a little for the sake of time. Be careful down there, boss. And here we are. So we can see Quiet is here with us. So let's go ahead and call upon some support. Send her up ahead, scout out the area, and mark targets for us. As you can see, allies are marked by the green Diamond Dogs logo, as well as your own vehicles. And we'll go ahead, jump to our vehicle, and rendezvous with her at our destination. You've arrived at the objective. You're talking to Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Alright, so we've arrived at our marker, and as you can see, enemies have been marked by the red triangles on the screen, thanks to Quiet. So she's finished scouting now, and should be taking up a snipe position. Enemy you can also see here that Quiet has prepared some supplies for us, so if we need to resupply and get ammo, we can head back here. The map has been updated. All right, and we have a sniper, so let's have Quiet take care of this guy. Fire! And now we should be able to get close. So let's head on in. All 
All right, and we have a two-man cell up ahead. So we'll coordinate with Quiet to take these guys out without raising an alarm. On my command. This looks like the meeting of the Spetsnaz troops, as we saw in the E3 video. But we need to get closer to identify the target. Analysis complete. There, that's the target. All right, so there's our target. That said, he's guarded by a bunch of soldiers, and we would raise an alarm if we took only one of them out, even with Quiet's help. So let's go ahead and try something different. We'll equip a sleep grenade and have Quiet shoot this Fire. into the group. By doing so, we can take all of them out without raising an alarm. Boss, I gotta say it would be a waste to kill him, but putting him to sleep doesn't count as eliminating him, neither does knocking him out. All right, so now we need to recover our target, but first, to plan for our escape, we'll have Quiet move to another sniping point and provide cover. Open these guys out, leave no evidence behind. And now, all we need to do is vacate the area. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of Hammond. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. And an enemy noticed us. Unfortunately, this guy has a helmet on, so we'll have quite help us out once again by shooting off the helmet giving us a clean shot. Now as we drive out of here, we'll set a mark at our landing zone and have Quiet provide cover fire as we make our way there. As you can see, she'll provide cover fire, limiting enemies in our path. In this case, we have a vehicle with several enemies in it. Quiet did manage to tranquilize one of them. However, the others in the vehicle are still coming after us and have now opened fire. So let's change our route and head to the landing zone so we can vacate the mission area. This is B-Quad, arriving shortly at LZ. Enemy prison detected. Not this one updated. This is B-Quad, have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Keep a lookout here, provide some cover for quiet if she needs it. is clear. Let's go ahead and get on the chopper and leave the mission area. Back at E3, we showed you how you can use D-Dog and D-Walker to complete missions. Today we showed you how you can complete the same mission using Quiet in a completely different way. This is an example of how the game is completely free and open and how you can use your buddies to completely change the approach to each mission based on your personal playstyle and the situation. So feel free to mix and match buddies and equipment as you see fit and approach the mission in a way that makes the most sense to you. All right, next I'd like to show you another variation of the same mission, A Hero's Way. Previously, we approached this mission from a distance using stealth to our advantage. This time we're gonna go in loud via the air 
and choose a landing zone very close to our mission area. As you can see here, the landing zone is red, which indicates high risk, which means we have a good chance of being attacked during our approach, since we're not being stealthy at all. So we're going to go in loud, with guns blazing, which means we'll have to choose some different equipment this time. So for equipment, we'll go ahead and choose the combination of a shotgun and a machine gun, which is used for battle and close situations such as this. And for our uniform, we'll choose a battle dress, which should afford us some protection since we'll be going into heavy fire. And once again, we could choose a drop time here. Let's just go ahead and choose ASAP. We are at our area of operations, and as you can see, we've chosen to come here at night. Night will provide us some advantage due to cover, and also enemies will have their guards lowered, which means that reinforcements will take longer to arrive. So our first step, We'll be to scope the area out using our in-scope and mark targets. Complete. You've arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. Don't forget, he has a suspense house. Alright, so as we make our approach, we'll use the helicopter's minigun to take out enemies. Naturally, this will raise an alarm, so we'll need to eliminate targets as quickly as possible. Likewise, we can take advantage of things such as drum cans, create explosions, and general chaos among the enemy. Alright, we've been spotted by a searchlight, so let's take that out as quickly as we can. And also eliminate this guard tower. Alright, so now we've reached our destination, so we'll go ahead and disembark. a flare grenade so we can mark our helicopter's location and switch to our machine gun and head on in. Use a smoke grenade to provide cover and then equip night vision goggles so that we can see the enemies and eliminate them as we storm the compound. Quickly here, note that our target is not in the first floor where he was previously. We'll go ahead and search upstairs. Again, keep in mind that time is of the essence as reinforcements will arrive shortly. So there's our target. We'll go ahead and use a stun grenade to take him out. Catch it. Boss, I gotta say it would be a waste to kill him. But putting him to sleep doesn't count as a And we'll now need to extract him from the mission area. So we'll call the helicopter back to our landing zone. We could attempt to use a Fulton, but it wouldn't be wise since Fultons will likely get shot down during battle. We'll carry him and load him on manually. Let's so look at our target. And now we can depart the mission area. And that's mission complete. Right, so this was an example of a surgical air raid. Today's mission was to eliminate a target, 
but this tactic is particularly useful for rescue missions. That said, since the enemy will be on high alert, mission preparation is critical. You'll need to gather intel, study the landscape, layout of buildings, and target locations to ensure you can quickly storm the area and make your escape before the enemy has a chance to respawn. But for advanced players, this may be an exciting challenge to try. All right, now up to this point, we've showed you various ways that we can infiltrate enemy territory, approach, take out enemies, and extract our target. That said, when you think about it, this may not necessarily be the best approach for all people. Whenever you infiltrate an enemy outpost, you're exposing yourself to danger. So for those who want to minimize risk, it's safer and wiser to keep your distance and approach from afar. So this time we'll show you an example of that and how to complete the mission from long range. The mission is the same, a hero's way, but as you'll see, the impression you get from this style of gameplay will be completely different. So first of all, we'll set our landing zone far away from the outpost, which is actually quite near where we started off our E3 demo. And since we'll be covering a lot of ground, we'll choose D-Horse as our buddy. And for our weapon, we'll choose a sniper rifle and equip it with a scope that has eight times magnification so that we can eliminate the target from far away. Now we're set, so let's go ahead and deploy ASAP. Deploying. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. So here we are at our landing zone, but before we proceed, if we look around, we see some plants here, medicinal herbs that we can gather. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Golden Crescent. It's a type of medicinal plant. And we'll get on D-Horse. Use that to make tranquilizer rounds more potent. And look for an area where we can scout out our mission. So this dune here looks like a high point where we can gather some intel. We've arrived at our marker, so let's go ahead and do some recon. Analysis complete. We see Analysis various soldiers complete. heading to the courtyard for the meeting, which means that the commander should be nearby. It's not on the second floor. Analysis complete. It looks like that could be our target. So we can ID the targets. Marker placed. Seems like they're all gathering in one spot for the meeting. We don't have a clear shot to the building here, so we'll place a marker and see if we can find a better location to take our shot. There's our target. And there's a high point here nearby, which should provide us a clear shot. Marker placed. See it there. That said, Analysis complete. there are guards, so we'll take the long way around and avoid detection as we make our way to the marker, as we wouldn't want to blow this opportunity by setting up an alarm 
and having our target vacate the area. You've arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Yeah. So we've arrived at our snipe point, roughly on the opposite end of the outpost from our previous location. And there's a guard tower here on the southern end. We're still continuing to have the meeting. So let's just wait here until we can get a clear shot at our target. Timing will be critical here. We see one man heading up the second floor. And this is our target. That's the target. shortly. Keep in mind when shooting from long range, it will take some time for your bullet to reach its target. Therefore, it's best to wait until your target is stationary to ensure the best shot. If you try to shoot at targets while they're on the move, you'll not only have to account for your bullet drop and the time it takes for your bullet to reach the target, but also their movement, which is a very highly difficult shot to make and is recommended only for the most skilled of players. If we wanted to, we could wait here for the perfect timing to present itself, but we'll leave that to players to experiment with in the actual game. Instead, I'd like to show you some new equipment and new functionality included in your bionic arm. And using the bionic arm sonar detector, we've located an enemy nearby. So we'll take him out. And I'm going to show you one other new feature, which we call the blast arm. All right, so what you saw there was using rocket propulsion in our blast arm to quickly incapacitate an opponent. Subject on board. One of the cool things you can do with the blast arm is you can also fire it off in rocket mode and then operate it like a remote controlled missile. Using this, we can navigate through the landscape and find our target. Huh? Target confirmed dead. All right, and that took care of our target. Target eliminated. Mission complete. So we'll make our way back to D Horse and vacate the hot zone. Extraction arrived at another base. The Metal Gear Solid series is an action game series, as you all know. However, in The Phantom Pain it is possible to clear missions by employing strategies to completely avoid confrontation altogether, if you prefer. And we'll show you an example of that next.
This time we're starting in free roam mode with the horse and a sneaking suit for Snake. Mission accepted. The map has been updated. So let's begin by downloading our mission intel from the mission start point to the southeast of the mission area. Yeah. Scouting out the area, we see here a road patrolled by Soviets leading to our outpost. And this vehicle is carrying Soviet soldiers who are en route to the meeting with the Spetsnaz commander. So let's see if we can intercept them. All right, so this time we'll show you some new features of the cardboard box. As you can see, the cardboard box is equipped with some new abilities, such as the ability to slide down hills. And if you're up on a slope, this may be the fastest way to get from point A to point B. All right, so now we've made it to the road, and we'll leave the cardboard box here in the middle. It looks like the enemy has noticed it, so we'll leave it there to cause a distraction while we sneak away. We'll use these rocks for cover as we make our way around the enemy. And as you can see, two of the enemy are going to investigate the cardboard box, which will allow us to sneak up on the third enemy who is left to guard the vehicle. Carefully approach from behind with some C4. And quickly plant it without him noticing. And take cover. We haven't been noticed, so as long as we don't move, we should be fine. So the soldiers have gotten back into their vehicle and are heading off to their meeting without noticing the present we've placed on their comrade. So let's quickly make our way to our destination and see if we can scope things out. Alright, so here we are at our outpost. And you can see there's a guard here. But as you may have noticed on the way in, there's a crack in the wall which you can use to climb. And if we take a look with our night vision goggles, you can see it more clearly. So we can take advantage of that. But first, let's cause a distraction and get this guy out of our way. Alright, so he heard a noise. He'll go to check that out. So while he's busy, we'll go ahead and climb on in. As we've shown previously, Snake can use cracks and walls to climb. So we'll get on top of this building to get a better view of our target. So we'll use our in scope to verify the target. And also verify that our booby-trapped soldier is among them. So now all we have to do is equip the C4 and pull the trigger. Nothing personal. Target confirmed dead. All right, target eliminated. But you recall we still have this guy on here. Checking out the noise, let's get rid of him. Then make our way back to the horse. Yeah. 
exfiltrated. All right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. All right, and we vacated the hot zone. Mission complete. All right, and that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed these four other examples of how you can approach our E3 mission, A Hero's Way. That said, keep in mind that this was just a small sampling of the limitless possibilities you have at your disposal for each and every mission in the game. We hope that players will have fun experimenting with various techniques and sharing war stories with each other that are uniquely their own. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain will be released in just under two months on September 1st, 2015. Thank you for watching.